Hello everybody, my name is Humphrey and today's story is called Maxo Bunny uh, because this week it's both uh, Easter week and also Passover and this book was uh, written by my friend and neighbour Nancy Ross in Litchfield and uh, I think it's a fun story and perfect for this time of year. Hi, my name is Nancy, I am six years old I live in a big house with my mummy, daddy and big sister. I want to tell you all about the best time of the year. It's between Easter and Passover. That's when the Matzo Bunny comes to visit. Mummy says a lot of people don't know about the Matzo Bunny. She's right. I think the Matzo Bunny is shy. Maybe she's just younger than Santa Claus and Peter Rabbit. There are no stories or songs about, or TV shows about the Matso Bunny. The Matso Bunny comes to our house when we celebrate Passover and Easter. We celebrate both because my mummy goes to temple, but my daddy goes to church. Daddy says I'm special because I'm loved in both places. I get to eat both Matso and chocolate Easter eggs. I love that. There's a lot I know about the Matso Bunny, and a lot I'm not sure about. I know that the Matso Bunny is a girl, Matso Bunny. Everyone in my family agrees on this point. I can tell you what I think she looks like. Very pink and fuzzy all over, with pure white hands and footsies. She has big black eyes and super curly long eyelashes. And Matso Bunny always has a big smile. The Matso Bunny is so special because she makes everyone happy. She gives everyone gifts when she comes between Passover and Easter. Sometimes she comes several times. It's always a surprise. Matso Bunny never comes at the same time of day or night. She never stays to talk. I think she has too many houses to visit. It seems like she always comes when no one else is around. I don't understand how she unlocks and opens the door. I guess she bebops and hip hops around. I bet she goes to the gym a lot and watches dance shows on TV. Maybe she takes dance classes like me. Bebop, hip hop. I wonder how she does it. So she comes at all different times and delivers gifts. But it's not like Christmas and Hanukkah where just the kids get gifts. When the Matzo Bunny comes, everyone gets gifts, even Mummy and Daddy. Christmas and Hanukkah are big, big gifts. Matzo Bunny brings little super special stuff, or sometimes does stuff that's really special. Last year, Matzo Bunny left dinner for us, so Mummy didn't have to cook. Mummy really liked that. And another day, Matzo Bunny brought the garbage cans out to the sidewalk for Daddy. Daddy hates doing that. Once, I got all different coloured flowers. I felt so grown up. Another day after school, I was surprised by a big basket of chocolates. Mmm! So that's how it goes during the time Matzo Bunny is around. Bebop, hip hop, coming and going with special treats and surprises. It's really super neat. Sometimes we leave out Matzos and chocolates for Matzo Bunny and she eats them. I love when Matzo Bunny visits. She makes Easter and Passover extra special. My big sister says there is no such thing as Matzo Bunny. She says it's all a fake and it's just a story that the grown-ups made up. I'm glad I'm not a big sister. She doesn't believe in anything fun. She says the gifts and special treats are given by mummy and daddy to us and they give each other other stuff. I don't believe her. My sister says the same thing about Santa Claus too. I mean, if the Matzo Bunny isn't real, 
Who eats all those matzos and chocolates? I think I understand. Next year, I'll see what Matzo Bunny gives Mummy, Daddy and my sister. Then I'll try to give them those special gifts and treats during the rest of the year. I asked Mummy and Daddy whether the Matzo Bunny is real. They said, yes. The Matzo Bunny is real to anyone who really believes. They said that the most important thing to know is that the Matzo Bunny brings out the very best in each of us. Every year that we get gifts, we should say thank you. We should also think about giving like that to each other throughout the year. I can't forget Matzo Bunny. When she bebops to my house, I'm going to leave a big plate of matzos and chocolates. Bebop, hip hop. The matzo bunny is my friend. I hope the matzo bunny comes to your house too. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoy it. And I wish you all a very happy Easter and a peaceful Passover. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.